race seven of the BMW IBSF Women's Skeleton World Cup in Calgary in Canada. First World Cup in Calgary for four years and Canada's Jane Channel has only raced once on the track before. She lay in sixth place after the first heat in a tight six sled battle for a top five run. She eased away from Great Britain's Madeline Smith and she also managed to overhaul Laura Dees, the bronze medalist here four years ago, who was in fifth after the first heat. So Channel led as Elizabeth Meyer came to the track as Liz Varche. She won her second ever World Cup start here four years earlier. And that was her last trip in World Cup down the track. She took the lead away from her teammate, but there were still three to go. Meyer was in a tough battle with Tina Herman and Elaine Nikitin. They were covered by just four hundredths of a second. But Herman, as she had in the first race, dropping back at the start, found speed at the bottom and then some, accelerating away by two tenths of a second to lead with two to go. Could Tina Herman claim victory here? It's been over a year since she's won a race. Elena Nikitina has had a great season, wearing the yellow vest of the World Cup points leader, the fastest starter, just a hundredth off her own track record. She was in second place after the first heat, but she dropped behind with the second run that allowed Tina Herman to move up to at least a silver medal position, or perhaps we should say at most silver medal, because the first round leader, Mimi Reneva, was 3300s in front, and in the second heat, she did not falter. She drove away to a comfortable win, not only her first in Canada, but her first ever not on a natural track. Her two previous career runs have both come in San Moritz for gold, and Mimi Reneva now wins her first artificial track gold medal, ahead of Tina Herman and Elizabeth Meyer, all three Canadians in the top five. Elena Nikitina is now just one race away from the Crystal Globe as the season's champion, but it was a day to celebrate for Canada's women.